Hey there everybody, Robert Taylor with Wonderscape Creations. In this series, we are going to be going over uh, a series, a suite of plugins called Ninja Bear, um, made by Ninja Bear Studios. And I'm going to be doing quite a few things over the next uh, week or so. I uh, do expect anywhere from 30 to 36 videos to pop up within the next week or so. Um, I'm going to show you most of what's going to be done. I haven't quite finished uh, because I was trying to get a few things set, sorted and organized, but I'm going to quickly show you most of what we're going to be doing. So, as you can see here, got my character. He has nothing on him. If you look in the top left, we have the um, bars. Ignore the one. That was something else that we won't be doing. Uh, we have the health bar, stamina bar, mana bar. If I hit the I button, we got inventory showing uh, the main hand weapon and the secondary weapon which as you can tell, aren't equipped right now. If I hit the attack button, now they are equipped. Um, yeah, I don't have it hooked up anymore, uh, but the unequipped one also works. Uh, and then we have our combos, two, three, four. We also have one, two, shield attack. And we also have one, two, three, Bang. We have that going for us. There's also a normal bash. Uh, jumping works with it so we can't attack while we are doing that. And while we're attacking, we can't jump. So there's a lot that we're going to be going over. Um, additionally, targeting. Um, <clears throat> I don't have the motion matching set up yet. Not motion matching. Uh, warp targets done yet uh, but that is in the series uh, and the series that we'll be following loosely is here on Ninja Bear uh, Studios tutorials uh, well not tutorial but Ninja Bear Studios site for everything that he has and everything he's working on um, as far as the uh, guides go we won't be following along this way I, we will be going from configure and put handlers to um, create melee weapon. Uh, no, not attacks. Create melee weapons. Once we have these done, we are going to jump down to configure the inventory and create the inventory UI. Um, and that includes track player attributes. So it'll actually go to track player attributes and then create the inventory and, and UI. Then we'll come back up here. Because, and I'm doing that because a lot of people have been asking about the inventory. And I want to help people get to this point and get this taken care of. After that, we will be going into the creating the melee attacks, doing all of this stuff, then jumping down here and doing what's remaining here track enemy attributes then we'll go on to doing a whole bunch of stuff that isn't in here before the um, 30 to 36 episodes is over so um, I do hope I see you in that series and I hope that you guys learn as much as I did and that you enjoy it I will see you in the next episode